Good evening, chaps. So, unless you live under a rock or in some far-flung tribal village in the middle of, I don't know, darkest Peru somewhere, which, if you are living there, then congratulations on getting broadband and being able to watch YouTube. And you will have noticed that it has been the Queen's Jubilee weekend. And for those of you who don't understand what the Jubilee is, that means the Queen's been on the throne for 60 years. That's a long time. That's a lot of time she's given up for this country as a whole. And that's quite impressive. I mean, I can't imagine doing the same job for 60 years. The only other monarch that has managed 60 years on the throne was Queen Victoria. Now, as a result of the Jubilee, I've been thinking about this weird relationship we Britons have with this concept of patriotism. Uh, as much as I may take the mick out of your sense of patriotism on my posts on Tumblr and stuff like that, you know, those big old America Freedom posts that you see, uh, I may take the mick, but it's something which I have this strange love-hate relationship for, in that I'm kind of like, well, that's, that's actually really cool. Although it's kind of parodied, there is this definite sense of pride in your country and this definite sense of, of America is a great place and you really love being there, as a general rule. But over here, our sense of patriotism is, is a lot more understated and it's, it really is a love-hate relationship and a love-hate situation whereby when there are big things happening, like this Royal Jubilee, a lot of people come out and they're like, yes, Britain, I love being British and I do love being British. But we're less inclined to go over the top about it and less inclined to, to indulge it every single day of the year. But for a great deal of the time over this Jubilee weekend, I was walking around a fete uh, that we had near my house actually, wearing a Union Jack around my shoulders like a cape. But for the majority of us it goes unspoken and it's the kind of thing which sits under the surface and is brought to the top by situations and events like the Jubilee and things like this. It's something which doesn't really have a great deal of effect every day up until you get an event like this. It's a really, really weird situation to be in because I know there are people who, from a day-to-day -day basis, won't really be bothered about patriotism. But in situations like this, where you've got a real sense of British unity and oneness as a nation, it all comes to the surface and you go, you know what? Being British is great. I love being British. I had this moment last night when I was sitting around with some of my friends. We were watching the Jubilee concert that was going on outside Buckingham Palace. And we all just stood up to sing the national anthem. And it's a cheesy thing and it's a thing which you kind of say with a slight cringe. But we did. And I'm not one for great statements of patriotism. But... And in that moment, I did feel a real sense of pride at being British. And I did feel a real sense of pride in being involved in this Jubilee celebration, even if it was in this remote, small way. I wasn't at the, at the concert, and I wasn't able to do anything great like that. But just being involved in this small way, through watching it, and through singing, through singing our national anthem with some of my friends, I just had this, this sense of pride at being British. So tally-ho, pip-pip, chocks away, and God save the Queen. Sarah, I'll see you tomorrow. The FTBA. By the way, um, I'm not going to be here next week, I'm afraid. Uh, there may be a replacement. I'm going to see if I can find someone. If not, it may just be another one of the circle, or there may not be a video at all. So um, we'll see what happens, and namaste.